nice outfit, Emily. Says the one wearing beige. Boom! Roasted! <laughs> Good morning, Saints! Today is Wednesday! Happy Homecoming Week! Today is September 27, 2023. Can you believe after today we'll already be halfway through? I can't. Happy birthday today to Hank Kolick, Hayes Matthew, Caitlin O'Donnell, Sp Spencer Reagan, and Lauren Webb. The saint of the day today is Vincent de Paul. Saint Vincent de Paul. The church is for all God's children, rich and poor, peasants and scholars, the sophisticated and the simple. But obviously the greatest concern of the church must be for those who need the most help. Those made helpless by sickness, poverty, ignorance, or cruelty. Vincent de Paul is a particularly appropriate patron for all Christians today. When hunger has become starvation and the high living of the rich stands in more and more glaring contrast to the physical and moral degradation in which many of God's children are forced to live. On the menu today in the Saints Cafe, spaghetti and Bosco. Mm, 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 mm. Great job to our girls volleyball team last night. They had two games and won them both against Bouvier West and Miege. Awesome work, girls. Fantastic job to our boys' soccer team. They won last night 1-0 against Blue Valley North. Liam Ryan scored the game-winning goal with an assist from Spencer Reagan. Great job, boys. Today, volleyball has a game in, the, in Blue Springs South starting at 6, so wish them luck. Also, girls, golf has a tournament at the Eagles Bend Golf Course starting at 9 a.m. Reminder, this week, there will be no morning masses nor confessions during STA due to the annual priest's convocation. Do you need service hours? They are available through Teens for Life for, on Sunday, October 1st from 1.15 p.m. to 2.30 p.m. It will be at the corner of 95th and Neiman in front of the Bank of America building by Oak Park Mall. We will stand and pray quietly as a sign of solidarity with others across the city for life. Come and pray with us for the unborn and those that struggle to choose life. We support organizations that, that help women choose life. Freshmen, you can pick up your class shirts after school today in room 125. That is Mr. Roast Room. If you cannot pick them up, come tomorrow morning to room 125 and make sure to get them. You will be wearing your class shirt on Friday. Voting for Teacher Court and Hoko Court Queen and King is currently happening. Check the link sent from Student Life Office on Monday. Hurry up because Thursday at noon, all voting concludes. All students are able to vote. Theater students, the annual Kansas Thespian Festival is coming in January. If you would like to travel to Wichita for the Thespian Festival, you need to put your name on the Google Sheet on Google Classroom. You need to do this no later than Friday or you will not be able to attend. Your $50 deposit check also needs to be placed in the envelope on Mrs. Spillman's desk. If you need a scholarship to attend the conference, please contact Mrs. Spillman directly. Freshman, freshman, homecoming week is a lot of fun. If you would like to help plan events like homecoming, then you might want to consider running for student council. There's a freshman class council organizational meeting Monday, October 2nd in room 228. Come by and check it out. Have you purchased your tickets for the homecoming dance? Time is running out. Purchase your tickets today. The cost is now $40 per person. You can use the QR codes on the posters in the hallways, or you can go to the current families on the STA website. If you want to pay with cash or check, then you can purchase your tickets from Mrs. Ball in room 206. Reminder to all students to bring your student IDs to the homecoming tailgate and or if you're an athlete, you can wear your school issued uniform to gain entry. It starts at 5 p.m. in the Commons. Saints, it's homecoming week. Today's theme is monochrome, monochrome, and tomorrow is rhyme without a reason. If you're not sure of what to do, one example could be one friend could dress scary and the other dr could dress as a fairy. They rhyme but have no reason to. Today's Spanish heritage fun fact is that there are more Spanish speakers in the United States than in Spain, if you count people who speak Spanish as a second language. Now it's time for the dad joke of the day. What, when does a dad joke become a dad joke? Why? When it becomes a parent! <laughs> Thank you for watching the Halo Morning Show. We'll be back with more for you tomorrow. I'm Emily. I'm Carter. And I'm Isaac. Signing, Signing off. Remember, stay classy, saints, and together we shine. Dang.